Okay. okay, everyone out there, my name is Michael Tanner. I'm from Diesel Smarts Head Office here in Queensland. Here today I've got Wayne. How are you going, Wayne? Good day, uh, Wayne owns a Nissan Patrol. I'm just going to ask him a few different questions about his vehicle. Um, obviously, he's brought it into us to have some work done on it, but first of all, we just ask him a few different questions about his car. Hey, Wayne, um, first of all, where are you from? Uh, from I was from Rick Yep. Uh, we're now on the road full time, kind of yep. doing a caravan with a car. Sure. Uh, yeah, and uh, heard about your uh, chips and whatnot, and uh, thought that we'd give it a go. Okay. Uh, how long have you owned the vehicle for? Uh, approximately four years. Okay. Um, I did have a chip on prior, um, which uh, didn't do all the <laughs> uh, didn't do the job that I wanted to do. Um, I had a bit of problems with the common rail, um, uh, did, did a relief valve and whatnot, so I've taken that off prior to. Um, Okay, so your originally you had a rail pressure chip on it, is I that did. what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. Um, so you've owned the car for four years, so you'd have a fairly good idea how the car drives and performs and... Yes, yes. Right. Yeah. And so what do you use the car for? Uh, primarily towing now. Um, we've got a uh, quite a big van, it's about 21 foot, and um, it's an off-road van, so it's heavy. Yep. I probably, most, my ride up on my GVM is um, about uh, six, a bit over six tonne. No, yeah, okay. 6.2. <laughs> so the, the four cylinder was struggling before. Yeah. And it was crossing my mind if it, it didn't think it's didn't improve. Yeah. Had a lot of enough upgrade the vehicle. Right. Go to the dark side, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the dark side. <laughs> okay, so you brought the vehicle into ours because you're what, unsatisfied with the with the torque and the towing power of the vehicle? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Right. Um, and yeah, I've got to say, after having the chip on, uh, it's early days yet, but. Um, um, I love my control again. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's so a completely it's different vehicle. So it's changed how you feel about your car? Oh, unbelievably so. Yeah. Yeah. They're a good car to start with, just that little bit underpowered for a car and six ton around. Yeah. Um, but now, it's, uh, you would not believe it's the same car on road. Yeah. So yeah. would you say it's put a smile on your face? Uh, definitely, yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, for everybody out there, can you just explain to them what we've done to your car? Like what products we've fitted to it? Okay. You've um, fitted the 3 inch um, Androvanic exhaust. Yep. Um, put a rotary switch in with your module and yep. also a um, EGT um, gauge as well. Defence system? Yes. Yep. While we're talking about the rotary switch, what we'll do is we're just going to take you around and show you that. Now, the rotary switch enables you to be able to change programs from inside the car. So, Wayne. When he's towing his van, if he's going for like optimal fuel economy, he can change between programs to try and use as little fuel as possible while he's towing the van. If he goes up a hill or starts going up a range where he needs more torque, he's able to change from one program to another program on the fly while he's driving. You've done that, haven't you? I have, yeah. 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 Right. So what I'll do now is we just, I'll just invite you to come around and have a quick look. You can see there that the um, rotary switch is mounted here and the EGT defense system is mounted there. So he can monitor what's going on and he can change his programs from inside the car. And also under the bonnet here you can see is the Super Diesel Smart Module. Now the Super now the Super Diesel Smart Module plugs into each individual injector, so it's controlling the injectors. It also plugs into the map sensor and we also run on the patrols an external manual control for the actual boost so that we can keep the boost at a really nice steady level. Um, how long has it been since you've had the module fitted? I've probably done about uh, approximately uh, just under a thousand k's now. Yep. Um, and by all indications it's uh, a little bit better on fuel. Definitely better on power. Um, like I accelerate down at hills now where before I was struggling. Um, yep. I'm really impressed with it. Um, yeah. As I said um, before, I was thinking about selling the car and prior to this, and I'm in love with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, no, it is really good. No, that, that's excellent. And um, the, it's really good for you, Wayne, to have come back and told us this and spend the time with us. and. Um, we know that you're you're retired now. Yes, that's right. And you're travelling around Australia, so half your luck. <laughs> yeah. And uh, 
and I know that you're going to be documenting a lot of your fuel and, I will. and yep. usage and also give us some feedback on, on the performance of the vehicle. So yep. once again, Wayne, thank you very much for your time. No, no. Appreciate it. Thank you.